our last video in this training is how to use mail merge in MS Word. Mail merge is a feature of MS Word that allows it to get data from Excel and send to specific fields or specific areas in your Word document, eventually creating a series or pages of documents coming from each row of the Excel document. So for example, I will be creating eight letters out of this one page that I have. So if you've been following us through our website, kindly download Exercise 02 Mail Merge A and this should give you a template of a letter wherein some words are missing like this because this parts of the letter will be taken from the Excel document. So let's start. So looking at the template, it says, Dear Blank, Good Day. We would like to thank you for availing of the housing loan from our bank. Your loan has been approved. The total amount of the loan is... Kindly coordinate with our nearest branch and show this letter. Your approval code is blank. Thank you, Jane Foster, Loans Officer, Metro Manila. So we want to fill in the empty parts or the missing parts of our letter using this Excel. And this Excel document, just to let you know, is complete with all the fields that I want to insert in my Word document. So now what I'm going to do is first close the Excel document or the Excel worksheet and then focus on my Word. And now here, I'm going to go to Mailings. Now, whenever you have the Mailings tab, it's mostly grayed out. None of them are clickable. And that is because we don't have any Excel document linked to our Word document or this Word document yet. But once we linked an Excel document to this file, all of this or most of this buttons will be active. So let's start. Now that we have a letter, we don't have to go to Start Mail Merge and select what kind of document you're going to do. But just to let you know, you can even create envelopes, labels, or other documents from MS Word using Mail Merge. So since we already have a draft of the letter, we simply have to go to Select Recipients, and then we have to use an existing list. And then you have to navigate your computer in order to find that Excel document where you are going to find your data. So now I have here customer details. Click open. MS Word will check if you are referring to a specific sheet of data. So since my Excel document, which you can also find in our website, only has one worksheet, we only have one option here. And there's a check box here asking if the first row of the data contains column headers. So I hope you still remember what the Excel document looked like. The first row are the headers of that worksheet. So I'll just leave this checked. Click OK. And like what I mentioned, some buttons or most of the buttons needed for a mail merge is now active. And now we can bring in the fields from Excel. And that is by going here, insert merge field. Insert merge field and then if you notice, these are actually the headers of the Excel document that we connected to this file. So we want to say first name, space, last name, Maybe we also want the street address. So as you could see, I am declaring in what part of the document should I put that field. City, dear, let's say, Mr., Miss, and then the last name, colon, the total amount of the loan is loan amount, period. Your approval code is approval code. 
So basically what we're doing is we are sending in the fields to the Word document. And you're done. But before you click Finish, which is found on the rightmost part of MS Word, you have to first preview what your document will look like. Just a bit of a warning. Once you click Finish and decide to print or edit individual documents, you cannot edit the fields again. You have to start from the beginning. So the best way is before you click Finish, preview first your document. So it says here, preview, and then as you could see, all the data from the Excel is now replaced or replaced the fields. I could examine other rows in my Excel workbook and see how they are re being reflected in the Word document. So remember, we're supposed to create eight letters. And there it is. All our eight letters are looking good. And since we're okay with it, we could now click Finish. And then you could decide to print or edit individual documents. So for now, I'll click Edit so that we could see what it looks like. So if you notice right now, I'll remove this blank page. We only have one page. Finish, edit individual, all records or all rows in my Excel worksheet. Click OK. And we now have a new Word document containing eight pages. Each is a copy of the template but this time the data from the Excel worksheet is being reflected on each page and that's what mail merge can do for you